As you are probably aware, the internet isn't always a safe place. It's built kind of like an iceberg. The deeper you go, the scarier it becomes. Today, I'm going to be diving into the horrible place known as the deep web and extracting the most disturbing horror games for me to show you guys what really lurks in the desolate dark alley of the internet. But first, what is the deep web? Well, to keep it simple, imagine the internet as a city. While the deep web is kind of like a secret underground club that to enter, you need special software to keep something like this from happening. Oh, well, here we go. I'm getting hacked. I'm not even doing anything yet. I haven't even started the game. I'm already sucking ass on the video games. I'm 20 minutes in and I can't. I just... Up, up, up. Damn it, damn it, damn it. This game's too hard. This game's too fucking hard. <laughs> Found on the deep web is the most horrible things you could possibly imagine, from live murder and torture streams to being able to buy real illegal weapons. What's the point of it? Well, the entire thing is basically just for people to do illegal things without the FBI coming and kicking their door down. Although, it's not completely foolproof. Nope, easier. Fuck you, you piece of shit! <laughs> Scared the fuck out of me, man, bro. He comboed me, bro. He was experienced. <laughs> Holy shit. I just got wombo comboed. Jesus fucking Christ. Asshole! The deep and dark web are extremely dangerous places to go, because usually there are plenty of hackers waiting to leap on the inexperienced servers and steal data or even track down their location for their next stream. This leads us to our first game. Welcome to the game is a simulator game that lets you experience what it would be like to surf the dark web. Your goal is to look through various nightmarish websites to find the secret codes to eventually lead you to a red room, which is basically one of those torture streams I talked about earlier. While you're attempting to access this, you have to deal with police, hackers, and even a mysterious cult kidnapping you from your chair. There are many secrets and mysteries to explore and discover. Let's see what my production is now. Ooh. Oh, hi, man. What's up? <laughs> so, my apartment's behind you, so if you could just, you know, move out the way, that'd be great. No? I'm just gonna go ahead and close it up. You know what? It's your apartment now. I'm good. Still there? Yep. Alright. Mm hmm. Huh. I don't think this is the best idea. 15. Aha, you're gone. The next game is a mysterious internet anomaly that was linked to a Let's Player who downloaded the proper deep web software and loaded up a game known by Sad Satan. I first came across this game uh, many years ago and I was unable to find an actual way to play it. Recently, I did some research and I had no idea how disturbing the game was. Upon loading it up, you walk through many poorly lit hallways as you are flashed with cursed imagery of a mysterious man surrounded by antlers. As if it couldn't get any worse, these men you are seeing are known predators. Like I said, this place doesn't draw the line anywhere. Throughout the game, you hear distorted and reverse audio echo around you. The game overall gives you a sick feeling like you aren't supposed to be here. As these games usually turn out, you are alone. You find a girl who chases you down the hall. In a panic, you eventually make it to a room with no doors, and it just ends right there. This alone was able to stray me away from the deep web. It just gives off an evil vibe that you don't belong there, and that something or someone is watching you. Well, that was quite an adventure. I'm sad to see you go, but don't worry. This doesn't have to be the last time we see each other. I got another cool video, just for you. Hurry, the video's almost over.